welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how I configure a new automated trading bot on the Quadensi platform. Uh, it's a newer platform to me, so I'm doing a lot of recon and testing with it. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, the Quadensi platform, it is a pretty robust platform. And what I like about it so far is obviously it has trading bots, which I'm going to configure here in a moment. And in addition to, I really like the fact I could connect all my exchanges to this one platform and actually execute all my trades from this one platform. So whether I'm trading on Binance, Kraken, Coinbase Pro, any of those exchanges, I can actually use this platform to do my trading without ever having to actually change between the different uh, platforms. Now, before I get to setting up that new automated trading bot, I will show you right now how to get a free pro version of this actual platform. Now, they do offer a free version and a pro version. The pro version is really pretty much what you're going to want to be using. Uh, and I'll show you how to get that for free in a moment. But let's just look at a comparison between the different subscriptions that they offer. So the pro version and the hodler offer pretty much the same thing until you get down into the trading and charting and the monthly trading limit is limited to 10,000 which for most beginners is going to be sufficient or on the pro version $100,000 a month worth of trading. The next item is the custom terminal layout uh, that has to do with the chart program and your platform layout all together and it is actually nice to be able to customize that and then probably the most important factor as far as the charts go you're able to actually save and load your charts now I use TradingView so it's not a big deal to me and they also use TradingView but if you don't have a paid subscription to TradingView that pro plan essentially gets you a lot of the features not all the features I have but a lot of the features that I use now where the plans really start to separate is with the automated trading bots. Now the pro plan really separates here in the fact that you can do 100 back tests a day and you can run 10 live bots at a time. One live bot really isn't going to cut it as you can only do one pair. So for instance, ETH BTC per bot. The one will at least get you started and you can at least test out the platform, see if you like it. But the 10 automated trading bots is more ideal. And so let's go ahead and check out how you can actually get the pro account, which is normally $49 a month for free. And you can do that as you arrow down. Now I have a link down below that you can click on. So you can go to Quadensi and take advantage of this opportunity for the free pro upgrade. So click on that link down below if that's what you're looking for. Once you're on the pricing page, you scroll down and you can see a list of the opportunities they offer for the free uh, memberships. Now, if you don't have a Binance account, and you go through this link on their site, you'll get six months free. Same with KuCoin. If you don't have a KuCoin uh, exchange account, you can actually click on this link and get six months free. Now, I already have all of these, unfortunately, but I was able to still take advantage of a free uh, three months by doing the KuCoin and entering my API codes, the secret key, and a passphrase when you set up with uh, KuCoin to get your APIs under their API, you actually create uh, the API, the secret key, and a passphrase. And by inputting all that information, I was actually able to get three months free of the pro plan, which is more than sufficient for me to really test out this platform and see if I want to stick with it. And hopefully maybe within those three months. The bonus for the Kraken exchange might open up. Also, I could probably just go ahead and connect to Binance for another three months. There's a lot of different opportunities for the upgrade to that free pro account. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and actually go to the platform itself. 
and we're just about ready to configure that bot so go ahead and hang with me here now we'll start over here at the dashboard and here will just kind of be a summary of your accounts and your portfolio so far i just have qcoin connected so that's just your main dashboard where you can add accounts under the portfolio obviously is going to show you your portfolio the trade tab is where you can trade from and this is the part that i think will be pretty cool where i would be able to actually hit this drop down choose whatever like i have hit btc i could choose whatever exchange i wanted to and then actually trade right from here and i can jump between all the different exchanges instead of having to sign in to all my different exchanges so that's a pretty cool feature and you get the trading view charts for free it's not the pro version of trading view but it does it's better than the free version of trading view as the free version of trading view doesn't give you all of these indicators and some of the features that this actually has so it is actually a pretty good version of trading view considering you're getting it for free uh, you can't complain about that now the next thing you want to look at is the bots so here we go I have just started yesterday configuring a few bots you can see I configured a couple this today as well uh, and right now I'm just doing them on KuCoin until I get my other exchanges connected up and then I will do some more and a, and a real nice feature they offer is I could actually have trading view signals sent to trigger a bot which I will get into in another video so now would be a good time to subscribe if you want to see future videos on what I'm configuring over here on uh, Quadensi. I think that's how you say the name Quadensi. Uh, but let's just take a look at this first bot that I have configured. You can see a back test that I ran based on the parameters which are right over here. So the parameters are going to be RSI cross is what I named it. It's basically a RSI crossing area in order to buy signal. And I'm using the Qcoin exchange uh, account. Is, I just named Qcoin. And then it's ETH, BTC are the pairs that I'm trading. And I have it set up for the one hour candle. 25 RSI sold on level one. Now they give you three different levels so you can actually scale into a position. Now scaling in is very different than dollar cost averaging. Scaling in is something you plan ahead to do and you're not trying to cut your losses per se. You're willing to take a position as the price goes lower. Dollar cost averaging is it's moved against you. Now you're either going to take a loss or try to reduce your loss by buying more and that's I'm not a fan of dollar cost averaging but I am a fan of scaling into a position and so what it will do is on the first level once it hits the 25 RSI it'll put in a buy order for whatever amount of ETH that I'm asking it to do and I'm saying buy half an ETH and the next level, same thing, if the RSI continues down, it will buy again if it crosses the 20. And then I have it set up again for 20 uh, at a third level because I don't want it to go any lower at that point. We need to take our stop loss and cut our losses. So I'm willing to scale in two positions based on the RSI if it's still moving down. And I set up a profit target right now of 1.75% with a stop loss of 0.49%. And that is better than my normal target of a 1 to 3 risk versus reward. I'm risking half a percent to make 1 and 3 quarter percent. So really happy with that. And so far I was able to do on the back test. It actually executed 8 trades. And you can kind of look at your stats down here below. You can see the actual buys and sells. And it will actually pull up a chart that will show you where it entered and where it took the exit at. And on this chart, the little green arrow is where you entered. The red arrow is where you exit. I'll zoom in on those. And so this little green arrow here, they're tiny, I know. But that little green arrow right there and that red arrow was the first trade and that one obviously was a winner uh, this green arrow that red arrow that was a loss 
this green arrow, that red arrow is a win and another win. So you can see where, and it also has the RSI pulled up so you can see the 20 mark, I'm roughly on that. Each time it dipped and hit, it should be buying and exiting based on my strategy, on my stop loss and my profit. And so that's an example of one of the bots I actually set up. Now we can start from scratch basically by clicking on find a bot and they offer a variety of different bots that you can start with and it's basically going to give you a foundation of a strategy that you can then customize and not all of these are available on the hodler or the free level and that's again why the pro uh, account subscription for this uh, platform is kind of important that opens up things like the trading view bot now the Bollinger Bands, Multi RSI, and MACD, all three of these are actually available on the free account. So you don't even have to have a paying account and you can start with one of the, their uh, basic bots. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to configure the Bollinger Bands bot. So you would just click select and name your bot. We'll just name it BB. On the exchange, we're going to select KuCoin since that's the one I actually have available with that account and the market we'll do is LTC USD T and starting capital we'll give this $500 to test with the candles we're going to go for one hour and we're going to use the EMA versus the SMA the moving average period of 20 and the upper band of two and the lower band of two those are kind of the defaults for the industry those are the areas everyone is looking at now with that being done i could go ahead and back test that and see how it would perform or they have an option over here called smart suggest and under smart suggest they will show you a few different configurations that you might actually be able to incorporate into your bot so you could look through this list and you found something you might want to take a look at. Like in this case, I'd be interested in XTZ. Let's just hit copy. And it will actually copy that configuration that that individual is using. And we can see that what's changed is they're using 30 minute candles. They're using the simple moving average, still using 20. But they have their upper band at 0.25 and their lower band at 3. So this should see quite a bit of activity. So we'd go ahead at that point now and let's back test it. And we'll back test that for two weeks. Now, the longer that back test that we hit, in addition to the size of the candles, we'll determine how long the back test actually takes. And these are not typically real quick back tests. So that tells me they're actually going through looking at all the data and processing all that data. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run. And so while this is running, it would be a real good time to subscribe. I'll be doing a ton more videos on this platform in the future, showing you updates and what have you. Also, if you like the video so far, spike a like. And lastly, as always, be sure to leave comments. I'm always interested in your guys' feedback. If there's other platforms you'd like me to take a look at. If you are familiar with this uh, platform, let us know what your experience is with it. I'm always curious to see what other people are doing. All right, so looks like our back test is done. And it ended up being a small loser over two weeks. Now, it only saw eight trades, which is a good amount of trades. We can arrow down, and just by eyeballing, we can see the first one was a loser. The next one was a winner, loser, and winner. Looks like we are 50% on win versus losses. That would take some tweaking, and that's the nice thing. Again, with that pro account, you get the 100 free back tests a day, and you can see I've already done 50 of them today. And with that all being said, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I just wanted this to be a quick introductory video. You can see my RSI bots, I have been tweaking around and they're all getting into the profit zone. Uh, whether it's my ETH, 
BTC, my ADA USDT, or my Bitcoin uh, USDT. I'm still tweaking on them uh, to get the best out of them, but stay tuned, subscribe for future videos on how I tweak those. Also, I'll be setting up this trading view bot. So until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.